Welcome to Mining the Maximo Database. This lesson is using the advanced search option. I'm going to go into work order tracking. Now we've been talking about the filter, how we can use that to search for records in any given application, such as work order tracking. There's also an option called advanced search. By clicking here, this gives us other fields that we can use to enter criteria in in order to um, get a more focused search. Things that don't appear on the original uh, screen, such as GL account here for the work orders, uh, PM, um, and others. One of the nice things about the advanced search also, it enables us to do searching on ranges of dates which we couldn't do in the filter. So we can do a report a date from and to by entering in criteria here and clicking find. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to go ahead in location, type in 007%. So that's going to give us uh, power plant work orders. And let's go ahead and hit find. And this gives us 349 records. Um, you may notice that down on the location uh, filter line uh, that 007% does not show up. Uh, that's a little bit of a bug, so don't let that worry you. If you still go back to advanced search, you'll see that it's there. But for some reason, for work order tracking, uh, it doesn't show up on the filter line. Uh, nonetheless, it's there. Um, we're going to go ahead and enter in coal for the description and again hit find and you can see coal actually does show up on the filter line here and uh, now we're down to 37 records um, if we're looking for records that are not active these are either in progress or complete at this time uh, so the, uh, the uh, accounting has not been done they haven't been archived uh, if we're looking for the ones that have been archived um, go to advanced search and where it says history where there's an N clear that out and then click find notice it's taking a little bit longer to go through there there's 1203 now so now we have found <clears throat> not only the ones that are active but also the ones that have been closed or canceled Let's go back up into advanced search and we're going to look for the status and we're just going to look at the list and we're going to look for the ones that have been canceled. So let's go ahead and click that, press OK, and then click find. And now we're down to 35. These are have all been canceled. They have the uh, description have colon to description and also we know that they've been archived and their location 007. Now let's go ahead and use the advanced search to click and uh, choose a range of dates. So from I'm going to put January 1st 101 1999 and for two I'm going to put 01 01 so from January 1st, 1999 to January 1st, the year 2000. And that's how you do a date range. So here, these are all the, um, for the power plant, all the work orders that have coal in them that are, have been canceled and uh, are archived within the range of the year 1999. Uh, if you want to revert back to your uh, default uh, filter, just go back to search, advanced search, and click restore application defaults, and you'll be back to your regular list again. And that is using advanced search option.